guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season one, episode 15 of The Fosters. This time, the title of the episode is Padre, uh, which means father, <laughs> in case you guys don't know. Uh, anyway, so uh, I'm excited to watch this episode, but I'm kind of worried because of how the episode ended. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I am excited. This show is so freaking good. It's so so freaking good so i'm i'm really really excited to watch this new episode and if you're on patreon i'm doing a mini binge let's see how many episodes i can get uh today uh, i can get out today so i hope that you guys enjoy and i hope that you guys you know continue supporting for more thank you for everything you guys are amazing thank you phoenix dtv for sponsoring the entire first season of the fosters uh i hope that you guys are enjoying you know and that's it without further ado Let's just begin with season one, episode 15 of The Fosters. Oh, he's okay. Oh, he's alive. You said, Daddy, why is the sky so dusty? Oh, that's so cute. I thought he was dead. Okay, she's dreaming. What is happening? Am I tripping? This whole thing was a dream? Tell me what happened! It's my first funeral. <gasps> oh, so he is dead! Not as bad as you think. Oh, no. I just asked my mom to tell stories about all the time she was passed over for tenure. <laughs> He's trying to make her feel better. Oh, she's gonna see, like, the prenatal things, right? <gasps> Shit! Oh, don't blow, don't blow this out of proportion. I bet she was gonna tell you, but, like, the thing with your dad happened. Oh, God. Has Steph seen the paper today? No? No. All right, good. Don't let her. What the fuck happened? Oh, no. Yeah, honey. Did he call her mom? Would be okay if Connor came over today? What is happening? I don't. I can't read them. He called me mom. Yeah. Oh, bless, bless. Why does the amount go up when the price goes down? No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Eat it. No. Eat it. Oh, no. Eat it. Oh. That's nasty. <gasps> that's so cute, though. I miss you. I really thought that we were going to be sisters. Hey, um, can I talk to you for a second? No, Brandon. You literally just talked a minute ago. He's so needy. Go, go after them. There's nothing wrong with you going after them. You guys do funerals completely different from us. We don't have a reason to hide anymore, right? Everything is working fine for me. I don't feel like it's the right time right now, Brandon. I mean, it's your grandfather's funeral. Exactly, exactly. Oh. Don't be like that. We won't be long. That's her mom. And then she's reliving everything. Oh, sweetie. Oh my god, Kelly. Well, I only mean crazy because you're wrestling with all those guys. <laughs> Not because you're actually crazy. <laughs> Mariana, walk away. <laughs> is this? All I know is I'm supposed to be going back to work next week. And now they're not gonna let me. The guy did shot a cop, though. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that is what she always wears. Stop torturing yourself. You don't want a baby. If you did, you'd have one by now. <laughs> the mom is just like, oh my god. <laughs> she doesn't even realize what she's saying. What is the name of my first boyfriend? Oh, come on, he's gonna spell Chase. Who's he? Who's he? Zach. The Zach. Oh! Good. <laughs> This is just a silly the nerdy guy. You two guy. communicate with I am no longer interested in hearing what you have to say about it unless it's I love you and I understand. I didn't realize I was doing that. I apologize. Let's think of her. Well, since now we're being so totally honest, isn't there something that you need to say to your wife? Yeah. Something about a baby. I guess that was what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jesus. Mom. Oh my Easy. god. Huh? I'll never play with a Ouija board. Is it okay if Steph and Lena adopt me? Is he about to cry? <sighs> Stupid! Holly, honey. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry, but if, if you lost it, we can just replace Wait, it. No! Don't... That's her mom's necklace! It was our mom's necklace. Start looking for it! You destroyed my room. No, Kelly. It was, it was her. you. She blocked it. Oh. Kelly! Oh my god. Oh. I'm gonna hug her. That's 
your funeral okay weird. bye i should think that would make you happy <laughs> oh, well, i should get home thank now you get so the much fuck out, babe. I don't want to Frank cry. Was very important to me and to all of us at church well look he's decided to start an investigation to see if he can press charges what oh, fuck we're you. gonna do everything I mean, we can her. and, and we, the union will now what i could end up going to jail not if i have anything to say about it well, the problem is you don't, Captain. Oh, what the fuck? Hi, don't say that. I was upset. You found it. Okay. Oh, you found it. Nice. I love you, Brandon. Oh, my God. I love you, too. Really? No, we can't do this anymore. I never realized until today. Finally, you know, I knew that he had a heart and like that he was a good guy. He was wearing this the last time he told me he loved me. <laughs> oh, you so you gonna come in and play a little something for old Frank? We're not gonna separate you, I promise. We're gonna keep you together until we can find a home for you both. Oh my god. <sighs> Girl, Padres. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck you. Oh god. Have a baby. Bitch, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I can't, like, I can't. <sighs> okay, guys, so that was the end of episode uh, 15. Uh, episode 15? 15 of season one of, of, um, of the Fosters. And, you know, This show, goddammit, with the emotion, like, I am, I don't consider myself a very emotional person, like, other than, like, watching shows and things like that is, like, when I'm, like, like, I get so into the stories and the characters, and I just picture myself as the characters, <coughs> and then, whoo, the tears just, like, burst, you know? But the thing is with with this it was it was it was just so much like I I I cannot I cannot okay here's the thing uh coming from a very religious family as well and okay so thing is that from a young age Sadly, you are pro programmed in this way where, you know, Adam and Eve and all of that and like that is the way it should, it should happen and um, it tells you everything about sexuality, about uh, boyfriends and, and and a lot of it you know and I don't think that that people understand how much it just it gets you you know and in this situation it happens with Steph's dad his entire life he has been taught that being gay is a sin and that it's wrong and he sees his daughter so happy and and he wants to go against everything he believes, but still there is a pull, you know, something that makes him think that is a sin, you know, and it's so hard to shake off. Uh, and while, you know, I don't agree with everything that he believed in, it makes me so sad and also it makes me appreciate the character a lot more that that he tried, he tried to, to fully 
believe that her daughter was doing what was best for her that she wasn't she wasn't committing any sins because of the way she loved and the the way she raised a family and, and the fact that she was married you know but society and religion has such a influence on people that sometimes it's sad that you know you cannot shake off that that you cannot go past that and you know my whole life you know uh, and even till this day you know even though i want to uh set aside what i was raised how i was raised is still that nagging feeling inside of your head uh about how it is wrong how it is actually you know uh wrong of course i i i i try to lead and to raise my son with love and without that uh um feeling that he might be doing something wrong about the way he wants to express himself about the way you know he explores his body and things like that you know uh because i don't want him to have that same process that i have you know but it's hard and and so i i i, I feel a lot for frank you know because he sent her you know steph to conversion therapy with this guy who now years later he's not so much of a believer that she's doing wrong you know and and that made her suffer in that way and i feel that and i i i i can relate to that as well i haven't gone to conversion therapy but for for many years and still till this day we live in a society where i live in a society and like i hear family conversations where uh it's still oh yeah but does she has to be so loud does she has to because i you know one of my nieces is is out uh and it was such a bad thing for like a side of my family uh, thankfully, my mom was like very understanding towards her, towards me, and 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 all of that. And but to see and to hear that those homophobic uh, uh, retorts, even from cousins who are not well, they are older than me, but like not that old. And like one is a psychologist, and and she was the worst at taking that, and like. You know, it's just so awful, you know. Um, and I wish that, you know, there there will be a point where we actually, you know, um, a society would be a little bit more empathetic towards others in, in, in the whole aspect. You know, not just about sexuality, but about uh, disabilities, about uh, race and, 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 and about everything, you know. And be more loving and more kind and and society is not like that society you know and and a group of people that control the masses that still you know want to lead by fear you know and 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 they don't see how much it hurts you know um so hearing the Prius said that the guy tried you know to go against everything he believed Honestly, it makes me feel sad for him. Makes me furious about the fact that the um, priest never told him. It's okay. Love your child unconditionally. If she's happy, she's happy. And love is not a sin. You know? And, and I hate that he didn't give him that peace of mind on, on someone who is... Who's, who was struggling emotionally about that, you know, that didn't allow him to fully connect with his daughter. And he do, he didn't give that, him that peace. I mean, is she supposed to feel happy about it? No. Because he struggled. And he didn't struggle because of her. He struggled because of the religion that he was part of. The religion that is just so close-minded that they cannot see that the world has evolved. You know, 
and that they need that fear to still control the masses, you know, the people. So it's sad. Whatever place you see this is like from whatever angle you see it, it's it's sad. You know, it's sad that it ended up like that for both of them because there was love from both sides, from her dad to her and from her to her dad. But that obstacle, that religion and that, you know, it didn't let them to fully enjoy and be happy and, and, and you know, be there for each other, you know. I'm glad that she's not blaming herself. I'm glad that she, you know, is not like, I wish I could say something. I mean, she does understand that she told him many times. But it still is in it, it lives lives in lives her in a great area, you know. So it, it's it's sad, you know. Um and Steph, I love Steph because she freaks out for a minute about, you know, the Lena thing and she did the same thing with with uh the marriage. She freaked out for a minute and then she's like, Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, she needs her own moment to like analyze things and then she jumps right into it because she loves Lena, you know, and, and, you know, sometimes she's like a little bit like, I hope that that is what it means though, because maybe it's just a question. Do you want babies? And if she says no, it's going to break my heart. Either way. Love it. I also love that Steph and, and, um, Callie could relate and could talk and you know I love that we could see Callie processing finally what happened to her mom and you know not holding on to Justin necklace believing that that is the only thing that she has left of her mom you know uh, it was such a sweet moment uh, and then you know I've been annoyed by Brandon in the past few episodes but this episode, I finally saw what I saw the first few episodes, which is like the kind-hearted, empathetic young boy that he is, young man that he is, young boy, young man that he is. And he saw, he finally realized that he was being selfish, that Callie does need a family, that being on her own is not something, it, it was, a, 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 she was making this decision too fast, you know, and I'm glad that he realized that and I hope that he just drops it because I don't want to have any like weird thing there going on because if she gets adopted, then they're going to be a brother and sister. So they need to cut it out. Okay. They need to, uh, but I'm glad that, you know, Callie saw it for what it really was, the opportunity of having a family that is not going to last just until she's 18, that is going to be their rock for a lot of her adult life. So it was sweet to see that and that she decides for herself that she deserves to be loved, that she deserves a loving home and that she can have it with the fosters, you know? So that was really, that was really something that was really sweet and I liked it. And like, she has suffered so much, both of them, Jude included. Um, and I'm so glad that, you know, they come to this peaceful moment. <sighs> it was really sweet. Yeah. Um, and you have the Jesus, uh, Emma thing. I really like Emma. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry for Lexi. You know, but if she's not coming back, it's not realistic to think that he's just going to wait for her forever. It's not realistic, so I understand that. Um, then, um, what else happened? Well, the whole uh, funeral thing, I mean, uh, you guys do funerals completely different. So, to me, it's always like, how weird this is, you know? Uh, but I know that it's not weird for you guys. It's just different cultures, different ways of doing things. Uh, but it was a beautiful uh, funeral. I really liked it. Uh, it was so so emotional. This entire episode was so emotional. 
Um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, also, Lena's mom, <laughs> she's just like, and then the, the, uh, at one moment, I was like, she was taking out the trash, and then the mom was like, I know what you're doing. And I was like, she's taking out the trash? What, what was that? Well, I did understand what was happening. But anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I loved it. I loved this episode. I think it was powerful as every single other episode of The Foster is. Because that is The Foster's. They, they like, <sighs> I was in here expecting to cry. And I cried like a bitch. Uh, but, uh, you know, a good little crying is good for the soul. You know. Um, I don't want to keep crying, okay? <laughs> uh, either way, loving the episode, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. So please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you want more of the Fosters. Subscribe for more comic, hit the notification bell, and you can go to Patreon to watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. And that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and for supporting. You guys are fantastic. I love every single one of you. Thank you, Phoenix TTV, for sponsoring the entire first season of The Fosters. And yeah, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. If you're on Patreon, I'm doing a binge right now. I'm about to watch episode 16 as well and 17. So stay tuned for that in case you guys want to watch it. And that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you, and I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for The Fosters. Mwah. Bye, guys.